Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. The Queen of Wands, all right? Queen of Wands, you could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine energy, male or female, don't have to be, all right? The Queen of Wands, I don't know if this is you or someone that's in your energy. We're going to clarify, but I'm I'm just going to try to give you both sides because we all know new levels, new devils. As you are growing, ascending, healing, manifesting new things, the Queen of Wands in a very positive, high vibrational energy is an extremely powerful manifester. This is someone who is usually considered to be very powerful, sexy, assertive, ambitious, the type of person who um, can come off as extroverted. This is an action-oriented person. In a lower vibrational energy, more of a karmic energy, this is someone who can be very seductive, perhaps like a Jezebel energy. Um, someone who is relentless in their pursuit to have whatever desires that um of they of their heart meaning this person will resort to magic black magic or whatever they want to get their way in a situation so um if this is you make sure that you are for sure standing in your power being ambitious however um make sure that you're staying in a very high vibing type of energy if this is someone else around you this could be someone um, from your past, from a past life, someone that you've known that you share a lot of memories with, could be from an old city, town, state, um, childhood, or whomever. This could be for some of you, someone that you've walked away from, and this energy could be wanting to come back and present you with some type of offer to balance the situation out. I feel like right now, if this is with this queen of wands, there could be a masculine out here who has already moved away from this energy and this energy wants to somehow come back in. Keep in mind, you guys, that Venus did go retrograde just a few days ago. So I've been saying this a lot in the readings. This energy is going to be around until September, this retrograde energy in Venus, and then Mercury will go retrograde next month, I believe on August 22nd or 23rd. Right now, they're the past, you know, love triggers, past life relationships. Those things are really going to be heightened and that energy is heightened. You're going to be very aware of it. You're going to be very energetically sensitive and you have to be very discerning because there is a lot on the line at this time with the Ten of Pentacles being here. So here's the Emperor, as I said before. Um, I don't know. Some of you, like I said, you're in this Queen of Wands, Energy Four of Wands. It looks like for some of you, I'm going to say that this may be you as this Queen of Wands. I feel that you guys are for sure trying to manifest abundance. You're going through a very um, quick ascension process right now. There is an upgrade to your gifts, talents, and or abilities to manifest this type of stability for some of you wealth in your life. The, the Queen of Wands is here with the Emperor and the Four of Wands. So someone is definitely manifesting a very stable life and possibly a, ba a very stable partner. The judgment card is here. Queen of Swords. Wow. The Five of Swords. But see, here's this energy still. Someone is very relentless in their pursuit to have this. I feel like there's a masculine out here that's in the center of this reading so far. There's something going on here. I, I, I can feel another energy. It's almost like something is behind me. It's another energy here. And I really had to, like, I have my Palo Santo. My, I had to really cleanse this space. There's an energy here. And it's it's trying to remain hidden. I just heard anonymous, but it's not. It's not. It's This energy is here. The Eight of Cups and the Four of cups somebody here has been rejected and this temperance card this is earth angel energy it's peace it's balance it's harmony it's also alchemy though this can sometimes speak of a person who's doing something in the background someone is doing something in the background to either manifest a relationship or to break one up but again someone being relentless in their pursuit to have a particular person or relationship this person is willing to do whatever it takes to have a connection. And I really 
can't sense if it's good or bad because here's the king of wands here the king of wands will be a match to this queen of wands you have the emperor here you have the temperance card there this is a a, a nice energy okay but someone here is spying they're looking into someone's movement to figure out how to rush in there's a lot of spying here a lot of watching stalking hacking spying surveillance I, I can pick it up so heavy three of pentacles here eight of cups someone is is watching to see has someone walked away from a partnership or a relationship and someone is in the background trying to sabotage a connection this could be a connection that someone is already in or a connection that's coming in for a person i'm so tired of, of reading this same this same energy someone is definitely and this could be a feminine it could be a masculine or it's just a very shape-shifting like energy someone is definitely in the background though trying to collaborate to see how can they watch and monitor someone's new beginning because someone is aware that there is new a new beginning something passionate coming in and they want to rush in somebody is rushing in to watch stalk and spy someone this is someone from the past ten of cups yeah somebody is it's like for some of you if you have a person doing this to you they could be the same sign their energy could be very similar. They could do the same thing you do for work. It's something similar here about this energy or it's like a familiar type of energy. Or this person is trying to copycat your energy. Yeah. There you have it. There's the, the Empress with the Page of Cups and the Ten of Cups. The Empress is receiving the Ten of Cups. I feel like Divine Feminine could be a queen of wands. Like you're very passionate about pursuing your happiness and having this new beginning. But you have this queen of swords energy that's around you. This, like I said, it's relentless. Somebody is doing magic or trying to manipulate a situation because they see you're taking action to move forward. There's just a, this snake energy is so annoying. It's like, Somebody out here is just not trustworthy. You don't, you can't let this person come around you because someone only wants to get close to you, like slither up around you so that they can find out what you're doing so that they can sabotage it. The, the empress and the emperor are out here. This could be a divine couple who's under an attack or this is just what's happening. But a, a divine masculine could be going through this situation in their life. A divine feminine could be going through the same thing in their, in their life. This could be happening with friends, family, co-workers or whomever. But this is an attack on divine beings, chosen ones, people who have higher level, you know, soulmate connections twin flame they're under some type of spiritual attack the energy here is good it is but somebody is trying to remain hidden and anonymous something is here it's a betrayal or some type of deception here and someone wants you to think that everything is fine it's not someone is pretending that everything is is perfectly fine around you but it's not Somebody knows that there is a change coming. Yeah, and they're waiting on it. Someone is waiting on an opportunity to come for them to celebrate and have some type of breakthrough. But this is a burden. It's a burden here because this person is being blocked. See, yeah, someone is being blocked from, honestly, from, from trying to sabotage something in your life. Or the life of someone that is close to you who is a part of your life. It's like someone wants you to juggle so that you will mishandle or misuse or abuse something. Because the truth is justice is coming and the ultimate wish fulfillment is here. Okay. 
So you need to be very grounded and, and balanced right now. Don't allow yourself to be in this stuck, stagnant, paranoid, wounded warrior type energy. This is what someone wants you to think. Somebody is just trying to project some type of false narrative and negative energy onto you because you are so quickly moving into this happiness. You have the Ten of Cups out here, the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Something here is, is amazing for you. It's happening. That's the truth. Karma is here. Good karma for some, bad for others, depending on what people have chosen to do. And someone who is trying to create these burdens in your life, they could be acting like everything in their life is going okay, but it's not. Someone is fighting quite the battle behind the scenes for what they've done to you. And they're either hiding right now or they're coming around you acting like nothing has happened or as if they don't know why they're going through certain things. Somebody knows. I really feel like someone is hiding though. Six of swords. Yeah. Whatever this is, though, you're releasing some type of baggage and you're moving away from this situation or you've already moved away from somebody here is really hiding. I, I, I just keep hearing they're like they're hiding. They're hiding. Somebody is trying to hide in your energy or they're trying to not be seen. Some of you need to be careful, too, because you could be out amongst people and there are individuals, they can't even hide how they truly feel about you. You can read their body language, their facial expressions and everything. Someone has come to realize that you're able to pick up on their energy. So they're trying to not, either this person is trying to not come around you physically or this person is using a different method of trying to cloak themselves in your energy. They're still coming around because they're snooping, they're spying. They're trying to, somebody, I'm telling you, and I know that I keep saying the same thing. It's just a very like annoying energy that's here because this person is, this person is trying so hard to act like everything is, is just fine. I, this is someone who is very delusional. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing in my, in my head right now, I'm going to pull out these cards. It's like I'm seeing someone who has gone through a breakup, you guys. I'm seeing two people in the house, and it's like someone has told a person, I want a divorce. This person is cooking, they're cleaning, they're dressing up, saying that they're going to go to date night. Like somebody here doesn't realize that a situation is over. Either this is happening now or it happened in the past. Somebody, There's a person out here, you guys, who truly is delusional to the point where, honestly, they're insane. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm picking up the energy of someone who, when you tell this person that you're done or it's over, you know, you don't want to work with them or whatever, they, like, they're not accepting no for an answer. I'm seeing, like, a person could have been terminated for a job or, you know, asked to resign. This person will come back to work. Like, no, I still work here. This is an energy that is refusing to give up. And this person definitely does magic. This is someone from the past or from a past life. Six of Cups and the Magician. Yeah, somebody here has been doing magic because they can't handle the truth. And the truth is, is something here is over. Six of Swords. Somebody cannot find the strength or the courage to actually move away from a situation. Something is just over. And somebody also can't seem to understand or fathom or accept the fact that you're moving on this could be a male or female take it however it resonates but someone doesn't understand how you've released baggage how you've moved away from a certain person place things or situation queen of pentacles and the chariot the king of wands the queen of swords Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this is some type of group effort. You have a Queen of Pentacles here and the Chariot. This could be someone that you've done business with, or this could be someone who is into, um, they could be into business. The King of Wands, the Queen of Swords. Somebody could be into herbs. They could be, they could be a dog lover. They could be into herbs. Um,
there's I'm telling you for sure I'm getting there's a karmic feminine out here who is not willing to accept the fact that a masculine has moved on it's like to the public this person seems like they are very grounded stable they're business oriented they're motherly you know they're practical they're a sweet caring kind person but no this person has a very this is a, a, a dual minded person as we all are but this person has a dark side to them queen of swords this person has a dark side to them and i'm telling you this is someone with a split personality somebody here has snapped and it's because this king of wands has met someone new this this person comes out in these energies at least once a week somebody here just cannot believe that a relationship is over i feel like somebody i'm i'm just getting like i'm getting i'm seeing this person this is like a person who has gone through a breakup or separation. They may have even dealt with another person, but now these memories of the past, this Venus retrograde energy, these this nostalgia, it's it's really it's suffocating this person. Somebody is so regretful about something that they did in the past. And it's almost like this energy is it's this person is forcing their way in and it, it's like obsession it's like the movie obsessed this person has looked at someone or a situation and they're like that's gonna be my life i don't even know for some of you it, 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 it's so strange i wonder if you even know this person because the type of obsession here, this is someone who is looking at your life and they're like, that person's life has to be my life. Wow, this is, it's it's kind of creepy. Like, the, you know, um, I, I say this every time. I usually don't really watch TV, but I could be led to watch a show or a movie from time to time. And a few weeks ago, I was led to watch a show, no, a movie, I believe it was on Netflix called Homewrecker. And this lady, I think I think that they were attorneys. This lady, she had like a really amazing life. She was up for partner at a law firm. Everything was going well. She had, you know, a loyal boyfriend, um, he proposed to her and she didn't want to accept it because she was still trying to, um, she wanted to make partner at the firm first. Well, all of a sudden this lady comes and works at her firm who I think she may have went to college with this person, but they, they weren't like close friends. The person that came was completely obsessed with her life. She wanted to also be up for partner and she started to sabotage everything in this woman's life because she actually wanted her partner. So she had started to imagine herself as this other woman. So, of course, everyone has their goal. She had like five things. You know, she wants to get married, have kids, be a partner at a firm, whatever. This other person came and like infiltrated her entire life to the point where she was actually taking people out. Because she was so hell bent on having the life of this other person. She had a personal vendetta against this person because of her childhood. She felt like, I'll say like the divine feminine energy just had this perfect life. And she was like, well, she's going to take over it. So she literally had like boxes of pictures of this, this woman's life, her family, her father, you know, and this woman, she invited this person in like a friend, like, hey, you know, you can come to my home. You can come to my birthday dinner. She was helping her. This woman, she ended up getting fired. Her friend got shot. Her whole life started to fall apart because of this person that she had invited into her life. 
not knowing that this person was completely obsessed with her. This is the type of energy that I'm getting from this individual here where someone, they look like they're on the up and up. They seem like they're business oriented, practical, like I said, grounded, stable, the chariot energy. But the chariot um, energy here, this cancer energy, along with this queen of swords, this is someone, again, I keep hearing, someone here is relentless. Like this person wants to have victory and success no matter what. And this individual, there's a king of wands here. Oh, in that movie, the lady who came in, she knew she was friends. Okay, yeah. She was friends with the divine feminine person like in the book she was friends with her fiance she started coming on to the guy like she was sending herself because they worked together she was sending herself flowers and trying to create the illusion that her fiance i guess you could say wanted to be with her she even went so far as to like i said when she got her fired the girl she moved in with her friend who also works there so this enemy of hers was trying to cook dinner for the guy. She was in their house putting on the engagement ring. Like she was obsessed. She really felt like she was going to take over that person's life completely. Whoever this is that I'm picking up in this reading, if you resonate with this, this is someone that you've invited into your life not knowing that this is truly an enemy. This person wants to be with you. I also want to make it clear. We see this happen a lot with women, but it happens with men as well. There could be a divine masculine out here who is a man. You could have a friend or a family member who really wants to take over your life. And you're inviting this person into your life, your home, your business and everything, not understanding that someone truly wants to become you. This is a case of obsession. Selena comes to mind. This is a person that's always around someone. This these, these readings the last few days have been so, I don't know, my energy is very, very, very sensitive. The stuff that I've been picking up, in the, it really makes me sick. Like the other day, yesterday, I believe the reading, it was a struggle for me. Like I, I literally wanted to vomit and it's the same thing. Now this energy is scary. This is like the type of person who will come into your home and go through your clothes or you'll find out that this person has photographs or secret folders of documents and files and pictures of you not knowing. And it, it really is, feels like for some of you, you don't personally know this person. The reason why you don't, per this person is like the ex lover of someone that you are connected to or their current partner. Somebody is interested in you, especially if you're a divine feminine, there could be someone who's interested in you. They have a partner or a uh, an ex partner who has discovered you and they're completely obsessed. Wow. Yeah, this King of Wands here, Two of Pentacles. This person is asking this King of Wands, like, so who is it going to be? Do you really want that person that you just met? Do you really want the new person? And it, it's causing this person to snap. Yeah, there's a Divine Masculine here. Oh, my goodness. Somebody here needs to be careful. There is, like, some, yeah, Three of Pentacles. Jealous, envious, scorn, ex-lover somewhere. And this person, yeah, they snap. I told you. Divorce. This says divorce certificate, ten of swords. Somebody knows that they were working with their enemy and they divorced this person. What did I say before? This I told you that this is what I saw. Before I even pulled these cards out, Somebody here has ended a situation or walked away. They could have even had a partnership with the Eight of Pentacles. All right. Um, this could be people that, you know, same sex relationship, take it however it resonates. You have here 8-8. Eight, eight. August 7th or August 8th could be significant. August 7th through August 10th. The Three of Swords. Somebody is heartbroken, though, or they will be very soon. 
about the judgment that they're going to be facing. Somebody here could have children. They've been at a crossroads about children, but it looks like someone has finally decided to leave because they see the very toxic ways of whoever this person is. Whoever this feminine is, they could have Cancer, Libra, Taurus, or Capricorn somewhere heavily aspected in their chart. This person also could have fire in their chart. This is a devil in a dress, though. And someone has walked away from this person or they're choosing to walk away. This person is like, no, you're not leaving. We're in this together forever. Justice. Three of cups, five of cups. This person is devastated. It's like a, a relationship or a divorce or something is ending or being finalized. And this person's attention is now on a feminine from this masculine's past, who is actually the divine feminine. This person is so concerned that this masculine wants a passionate new beginning with this divine feminine that they've been separated from. This person is so afraid that this masculine is going to go and offer this person a new beginning. The king of pentacles. So you could actually be the queen of pentacles divine feminine here. Somebody does not want this king of pentacles to come towards you. Because they cause a separation between you and this person. They are afraid that this person is going to come towards you and offer you a commitment, a passionate new beginning. This person has always been threatened by you. They've always known that this masculine wanted you. They know that. This is someone who's been in the background, like jealous and obsessed with you for a very long time. temperance something is being balanced out <laughs> i just you know i have a reading that i'm about to upload i haven't even uploaded it yet <sighs> what what is so crazy and you guys will see both readings i'll probably post them both today what's so crazy about this situation you guys if somebody is doing all of this against a divine being, whether it's a divine feminine or masculine. And for a lot of people, this connection that someone is so afraid that it's going to come back together. It really may not ever come back together. The reason why I say that is because you see here, you have the nine of pentacles and the temperance. Someone is very much happy, at peace, having balance and harmony in their life, whether they're single or with someone else. Okay. That will be the divine feminine here. I feel like there's a divine feminine out here who actually has already manifested this king of cups, whether this person is in their life or not. Someone is attacking a person because of someone from their past. Because they don't want someone, two people, to reconnect who were once together. It looks like spirit has already brought something new in. You have the six of cups here with the emperor, the king of cups, and the ten of cups. The six of wands. But here's a six of swords. Someone is moving on to peaceful, calm waters away from any type of stress, fear, and anxiety. And again, someone cannot stop watching. This feminine is, is constantly spying on the life of this divine feminine. This person will be in jail still spying on this divine feminine. Someone's desire to keep two people apart has turned into a full-blown obsession. Once again, 8-8 eight, eight is here. This Lion's Gate portal that's coming up, it's a game changer for somebody out here. 
somebody's birthday could be August 8th, but August 8th is very significant. And I felt, wow, I just looked down and realized here, you have card number eight, the strength card. There could be a Leo out here for sure. And this person does not want to give up their lifestyle or something that they have because what it is is someone is afraid of the divine feminine's power and ability to manifest what they want. Somebody knows that divine feminine is manifesting their counterpart. And this has this karmic person shaking in their boots because they're going through a breakup with someone that the divine feminine has been with before. They are afraid that whatever this divine feminine is manifesting, that it's, a vibr that it's going to bring this masculine back to them. Divine Feminine could be trying to manifest this particular masculine, but God is going to give the Divine Feminine whoever is best for them. It may not even be this person anymore. But the, part, the, the karmic feminine here is not thinking that Divine Feminine is manifesting anyone new. They just are set on never ever seeing this Divine Feminine be with this masculine. This is someone who has decided in this lifetime this divine feminine and this particular masculine will never be together. This person destroyed this connection in the beginning and they're saying to themselves, over their dead body, will they ever see these two people together? This person's hatred towards this divine feminine and obsession runs very deep. And the only thing that I could think of that may explain it, it has to be because of how much this man loves this divine feminine. Th there's a masculine who has been in a relationship with a karmic for a long time out of guilt, convenience, because of money, children, whatever. This person's heart has always been with a divine feminine. And the person that they built their life with knows that. This woman is obsessed with this divine feminine. And I'm telling you, nothing but hatred runs through this person's veins and bones because of how this masculine feels about this divine feminine. For some, this is a reconciliation. For some of you, this is just what's going on in the background. You could have a totally different person coming into your life, but even this masculine is upset about you moving forward because now that they tried to break away or they've successfully broken away from this karmic, they want to go back to the person who has always had their heart. They're afraid because divine feminine may not be available anymore. It's this, this karmic feminine and this masculine is such a headache for this divine feminine. And it seems like the divine feminine is not attached to or concerned to these people at all. It looks like divine feminine is trying to just have peace and balance in his or her life and move on to peaceful calm waters. But this masculine won't let go. And because of this masculine's love for this divine feminine, this karmic feminine is trying to destroy this divine feminine. I'm telling you, it's like people hate the love that this part, this man has for this woman. They hate it. And I feel like this is a situation that a divine feminine has experienced with more than one masculine. It just seems like it's part of the contract because, to be honest, it seems like Divine Feminine could have more than one person in their energy, more than one masculine, but they both are being held by a karmic feminine, like a scorned lover and ex. There's a Divine Feminine who has a serious battle against like a Jezebel energy. If you could be a Divine Feminine every single time a person comes into your life and they fall in love with you, 
there's this third party energy. This is like some type of Jezebel energy that has just been assigned to block your love life. Because this temperance emperor, this could be, and king of cups, this could be a new situation. A totally different situation, but it's like, same script, different cast. It's the same thing. You you find someone, you're happy, you're at peace. Someone from their past comes in and they're in a mental imprisonment and watch you. This divine feminine is just like so alluring. I don't know what it is about this divine feminine that I've been picking up on lately. This person is not only being like, I guess you can say, <laughs> this this divine feminine is, this divine feminine carries some type of energy that just attracts very obsessed people of the same sex and the opposite sex. I don't know what that is. It's some type of like, it's almost like the spirit of obsession. Someone, the divine feminine out here could have a Scorpio, a lot of Scorpio in their chart or it's heavily aspected. Scorpios are very alluring. I don't know if it's just the sexual energy of a divine feminine. I don't know what it is. But this divine feminine that I'm picking up in this reading, every person wants a bite, wants a sip. They like, if they if they get any bit of access to you, they go crazy. So you have to be some type of pure blood being. These reptilians and energy vampires, once they get a hit of you, they become addicted. It's something about your blood. It's something about your energy. It's 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 of the the purest grade it's it's pure blood it's i don't know it's really strange i mean it's really not it's just to pick this up i'm seeing like the tv show true blood the main character, Sookie, she was kind of ditzy. Like, she she wasn't even fully aware of her powers. And then she fell in love with the vampire. And it opened her up. She learned all about shapeshifters, cults, you know, all kinds of stuff. But they always have to have so much special protection for her because her blood, she was a fairy. Her scent that they could vampires could smell her, and once one, but once she started being intimate with one vampire, you know it was. It's like he had marked her, but there was other vampires constantly fighting. That they, they they all wanted her blood. Her blood, like it was the antidote. It's something you hear about someone's blood or who you are in spirit people they they know you they can sense you they can smell you they the, the type of blood you have you're you got to be some type of different being Okay, I know what it is. Okay.
Okay, I got it. Um, yeah. You're a specific like star seed. There's a lot of different types of star seeds. You need to figure out which type you are. Part of your life purpose is to battle these like reptilians. You have a, a, a lot of reptilians who are coming against you as you awaken to who you truly are. Because just like we recently had the 7-7 seven, seven portal, whatever le level you are ascending to right now, like I said, even myself, a lot of people are going through this. Your energy is very sensitive. You're connecting now. Like there's been some kind of DNA activation and upgrade your consciousness is connecting you with um, higher realms. These low vibrational beings who have always sort of been attached to you, this, these parasitic like people in your life, they're sensing a change in your energy. They can see that it's, you're becoming more pure. Your the stock is going up. <laughs> It's driving them crazy because they know that that means that there's bigger blessings coming for you. They also know that their access is being restricted. So they're like really losing it. They're losing their minds. This karmic that I'm picking up out here, this person could have been awakened to certain gifts that they had, they could have, this person could have always been a witch, right? So when you came into contact with this person, this queen of wands and this masculine, when you came into contact with this person and thought that you were going to have a union with this masculine, this person may have like hexed you. At the time, you probably didn't know much about hexing or whatever you most likely you weren't awakened then right so this person has been in the background hexing and cursing you for a long time stealing from you now because your energy is elevating and evolving at such a rapid rate this person now is very afraid of what's going to happen. It's like when the third eye opens. It's like you've been asleep and all of a sudden it's like all these alarms go off. Your third eye is going to open and it's going to go and show you exactly who this person is and exactly what they've done to you in the past. And what I'm really sensing, just like the reading I did, this person stole a union this person stole a lot of stuff from you in the spirit. You didn't know it. This person has stole homes, cars, marriage, relationships. For some of you children, they've stolen everything from you. They keep hiding because they don't want you to realize that they have been stealing from you. Because once the third eye opens, once you zoom in on this person they know that they're going to be stuck and bound to whatever situation that they have created this person is terrified of the karma that's coming for them so they're trying very hard right now to act as if everything is normal because somebody i'm even hearing a person they're like i need to just ground myself this will just blow over this no it's not this divine feminine is very much awakened and aware of what's going on and even if the divine feminine doesn't know the divine feminine has connected now with these different spirit guys ascending masters galactic beings or whoever they know what has happened somebody here cannot get out of whatever they've done there are no more delays here Th this person was in the background trying to cause all of this chaos and conflict especially in your love life because what this person did not have is this person didn't have co a contract with a masculine i don't know if this masculine is still divine but they did not have a divine contract so they stole yours this person is terrified now 
because you're reclaiming what was always yours. This person stole every, a lot of the victory and success that you were supposed to have when it comes to matters of the heart. They stole this. That's why this person keeps running around in the spirit hiding. A lot of you, you've probably had a lot of stability and security, but you have not had that happy home. You haven't had a masculine or a feminine to be there for you to share your life with. It's because this person, they stole. This person stole your, um, they stole what could have been a divine union from you. I don't know if you guys will reconnect with that person now that the karmic situation is over. Or if you're going to go into something brand new. But for sure, a lot of you, you've been very upset with a masculine. And I can understand why. This masculine has loved you very strongly. And I do feel that they've done things in the dark as well. Their love for you has created a great hatred though. From this queen of wands. This karmic feminine. This karmic feminine has been hiding in the background making you believe that all of the injustices that have been done was this masculine alone no they both have done things against you this masculine has tried to block your love life because they didn't want to see you with anyone else but they were always in a relationship with someone that they did not protect you from the person that they were in a relationship with has been your biggest enemy And you may not know this person, but they know everything about you. And they keep trying to hide. This person knows that you have a problem with this masculine. They want this masculine to take all of the blame for this. This masculine, whatever a lot of you, whatever the distorted masculine did, they did not work alone. They were under spell work and manipulation from this karmic feminine. They could have done things to you together. It was a bunch of illusions and now the truth is coming out. And this karmic feminine is terrified. This person has literally been living your life. Five of swords. This is a coward. This person has been living your life, hiding in the shadows. This person did not have stability, security, wealth, marriage. They didn't have any of those things. And they stole it from you. This is the second reading I've done like this. It makes me so sad. This person could have Virgo in their chart or something. Between Leo and Virgo season, a lot is gonna come out. This person could fall ill. This person stole your life and they're trying to do it again. They see you moving in a different direction towards a lot of victory and success. And they're trying to create illusions once again, because you have a contract in love. You're coming into union with someone. See, th this, this is very much about energy. This, this isn't even about the people involved. Let me tell you what this person has been doing. You guys. Yeah, this person doesn't want you to be with this certain masculine or feminine. It's way bigger than that. This person took your contract. And I know we say, oh, you can't do that. No, this person, because you weren't aware of what they were doing. This person definitely made some kind of sacrifice to get whatever was due to you in love. This is someone who knew that they were cursed to not having love, marriage, or something in their life. And they saw it in your future and they decided to take it. Whoever I'm talking to, you've always felt that this masculine did so much. And I can understand why you would be upset. This masculine has not protected you. But this person that this masculine is with, they saw the life that you and this masculine could have had together. They made a sacrifice. And they took it for themselves. 
And I've talked about this before. You may look and say, this person is literally living my life. The life that I should have had, could have had. But I don't think that it was. I think everything happened the way it was supposed to. This also could be, like I said, a man. A man could be going through this. You could be looking at a woman, <laughs> realizing like this woman is in a relationship with another man and they seem to be living the life that I thought me and my ex-person were manifesting together. There's a huge plot twist and a turn of events that's happening here. I still am picking up two people who are mirroring each other. I feel like there's a divine feminine and masculine out here who are realizing a very hard, hurtful, harsh truth about their divine contracts being tampered with in the past who will eventually come together. There's like six different energies in this reading. There's a divine feminine, a divine masculine who both have obviously like a false counterfeit um, soulmate or, or twin flame. And then those karmic partners to those false people as well. There's six different energies here. This is, I'm picking up on two third party situations. There's a third party situation with, for divine feminine and a third party situation with divine masculine. The true divine feminine and masculine, they're mirroring each other. You both have to get rid of whoever this toxic ex of yours is because you have a toxic ex that could be a witch or a warlock and they are also in a relationship with a witch or warlock. Y'all, this is this is a very um heavy reading because this temperance here, somebody doesn't have wealth, either a, a divine feminine or masculine does not have wealth because their contract to have wealth was stolen by a karmic. Then there's a divine feminine or masculine who does not have love. The love that they were supposed to have in their life was stolen by a karmic. So when divine feminine and masculine come together, one is going to have love, one is going to have wealth, but they have to go back and get their original like their energy back, their contract, so that they can go into a new contract. I hope that that makes sense. I'm I'm being reminded of a reading. It's like somebody needs to go get their walking, pa their divorce papers. The reading like two or three days ago, I said, so a spiritual divorce has to happen. In order for two people to come together or come back together, take care, someone has to be fully divorced from someone, but also there's a person who is married to someone still in spirit. And because of this spiritual, this spiritual marriage that someone has to someone that is of a lower vibration, the person that they're connected to in spirit is stealing all of their blessings. So let's say you're a divine feminine because you still have an open contract to this counterfeit person in your life, that person and whoever they're with, they're together because they have your contract as um, a higher level soulmate or twin flame. That's the reason why they have a relationship that's together. It's not meant to be, but they have your, they have gotten a piece of your contract because of a sacrifice. There could be a divine masculine out here who can't seem to get on their feet financially, it's because they may have been in a relationship with this devil in a dress. This person, because they wanted a certain type of lifestyle, they sacrificed this 
masculine con contract in spirit to have abundance. So somebody that you were with, they took whatever was yours and they used it for themselves with the help of whoever their karmic lover was. And, or the, the, uh, they had help either from a karmic lover or a family. Wow. This is really sad, but it's, it's very eye opening. Knight of Swords. Five of Cups. Somebody is about to quickly take action after realizing what has happened here. This King of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, this is like the feminine and the masculine. Both of you, whether together or individually, because you may not even know who this person is yet, you're about to really take action and realize that all is not lost. But this is a very painful truth to have to accept to know that you've been deceived and maybe the last 10 years of your life has been controlled by something that a person has done in the background. Somebody made some type of sacrifice and they definitely got what they wanted. It worked. They stole your love life or they stole whatever energy that they needed to get your abundance. They got, they got it successfully. Now you have to make sure that they don't keep it or they don't come to steal it from you again. It's a cancer out here or somebody who has cancer in their chart. Look at this. We see the chariot card here. The chariot was out here with the queen of pentacles. The chariot is here with the queen of pentacles. I don't know who these people are. This person is relentless in their pursuit when it comes to money. They want this money no matter what. Somebody's like, I need the money. I need the fame. I, I, I have to have it. And they get this through partners. Somebody has received either a relationship or they've gotten a business or wealth because of their partner. But this partner is someone who shouldn't be with them. King of Swords. Look at how, see, I'm telling y'all, I know what I'm talking about. You have the King of Pentacles, the Queen, the Queen of Swords, okay, running into the chariot here. This could be a legal situation, and then boom, they hit the King, the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords. No more stagnation here than the King of Swords. This is two different couples: Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. But somebody here has to be stripped of whatever this energy is that they've been using to block these individuals. There's going to be a swap here because somebody did destiny swap. Somebody successfully swapped destinies with someone in the past. They did it. And you now have to get your destiny back. This person took your your. Love, your love or your abundance in the past and they they used it for themselves you have to get it back I feel like tears coming but it's like tears of joy because I feel like someone is going to successfully get what is rightfully theirs back Eight of, I'm sorry the three of swords somebody has watched you be heartbroken high priestess look at this beautiful see that's what I'm saying you have the High Priestess, the Sun, the Strength card, the Tower, and the Hierophant. Something is going to be exposed. This revelation, it could be this reading for some of you. You're going to see the truth. It's heartbreaking, but this heartbreaking truth is going to fix your vision and allow you to become enlightened and very strong 
for you to call on divine justice and allow divine intervention to happen because the hierophant and the high priestess is here. There is a spiritual union here that you are meant to be in. It could be with this past person or someone brand new. Once again, we have 8-8. Eight, 8-8 eight. Eight, eight is significant. Somebody is working very hard to make something happen on this Lionsgate portal, and it's not going to happen. Look at this, 8-8 eight, eight and 6-6. Six, six. Someone here is trying to destiny swap. This is a ritual being done right now to swap destinies with you. Whatever you're supposed to receive, they want to receive it. Can you believe that? 8866. Eight, six, six. Whatever you're supposed to receive that you've been working to manifest, this person, they want to receive it because that's what they did in the past with the use of magic. What were they doing? Manifesting abundance. This person wanted to manifest abundance and they wanted to be popular. They wanted financial freedom, passion, abundance. And they left you wounded. This person swapped destinies with you. This could have been literally somebody else has been living as you with your energy for maybe about nine years. Judgment. But now you're awakened, so this has to end. Amen. And the people who have been working with or worshiping the devil, stealing your energy. And these karmic contracts, they're going to experience a fall from grace and lose everything that they have built on your energy because you have to get your energy back. It's your energy. They stole this from you. And I know it's very hard to hear like, oh, it was meant to happen this way. But you wouldn't have ever become the hierophant or the high priestess had you not gone through this. If you wouldn't have ever experienced this season of this 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 drought that you've been in you wouldn't have grown like this spiritually you wouldn't have learned all of the sacred wisdom and knowledge that you've learned this is actually leading you to your actual twin flame and your soul purpose For some of you, again, you're going back to this person from the past. For some of you, you're going, it's someone brand new in your life. The reason why every time I get this reading, the, I, I have a very difficult time with using my mouth to say that you're going back to this person from the past. It's because, yes, this person from the past, they loved you. But the person from the past, they loved you for what you could do for them. And when they found another person that could stand in your place by just using your energy they still went with what the other person because they weren't required to love the other person they didn't have to love the other person but they wanted to take part in your destiny with the other person and that's really really sick that's really low down this really foul somebody literally has not had love, abundance, financial freedom, or whatever was a part of their contract for close to a decade because once upon a time you slept with the enemy. You crossed paths with the devil. And now redemption is here. Somebody wants forgiveness. You, you need to forgive yourself because you just didn't know what you didn't know. Pay attention to your dreams. Your spirit guides are sending you messages through your dreams. Someone is holding back a masculine. They're not saying much. They're being very close off right now. They're keeping secrets and wearing a mask. So you have to go within. Treat yourself. Do your shadow work. You most likely have new love that's coming in. Yeah. Alone. 
non-action quiet some of you guys right now you i feel like when you when you get more details about this situation if you resonate with this reading it may kind of sit you down for a minute because this is very heartbreaking to know that this happened to a lot of people i think that you know even when you listen to tarot like you hear the stories but to really sit down and, and realize that wow I was robbed, blind, and tricked out of my spot and unable to live my life for all of this time because you loved the wrong person at some point. That's a hard pill to swallow. And yet, at the same time, you have to forgive yourself and, and keep moving. Somebody is very sorry about this situation and they want to compromise and make it work and, and come back. 